The biggest part of simulating test day conditions, I would say, is simulating the five section experience, which means doing the experimental. Far too many people don't do an experimental. They only do the four sections. And then, of course, on test day, their endurance is shot. There are three phases of test prep, accuracy, pacing, endurance. And taking a full-length exam is the endurance portion of this. So four, section, so four sections is not nearly as good as five sections, since on test day, you, you will be doing five sections. Three back-to-back, -back, short break, two more back-to-back. -back. Now, Brittany was asking me, she wrote, can you also talk about your opinion of taking more sections in a row than on an actual LSAT? So on the actual LSAT, you take five sections. Brittany's asking, should you take six, seven, or even eight sections in one day or one sitting to build up stamina? People online talk about taking six or seven. And yes, people do talk about this. I have in the past talked about maybe doing one or two six section sittings to build up your endurance. Kind of like if you can do six, then maybe five seems easy. And then if you could do eight, then five seems like nothing at all. I think there could be value in doing six. But I think seven or eight is really overkill and could lead to burnout. And think about it, you know, taking even five sections, that is already more than three hours because you're doing five 35-minute timed sections plus a 15-minute break in the middle. That's already getting you to something like three hours and 10 minutes, I think. So to go beyond that, that becomes a really awful day. It becomes a really grueling day. I think that five is enough. You could do six just for the experience, but I don't think six is really any, any more worthwhile. I think that seven or eight really becomes overkill and starts to become counterproductive. And of course, your performance will inevitably suffer on sections seven and eight, and that's discouraging and potentially wasting prep material as well. Plus, also keep in mind that you want to review what you do in depth. And if you're doing, if you're doing seven or eight in the same day, then to review those that day obviously isn't really going to happen or won't be productive if you do try to make that happen. And then you start to be burned out for the following, you, know, you want to take the following day off. And then two days later, it's already starting to be a little bit rusty. And so for that reason, I think it's not really a good idea to do that. But for the five section experience, here's what you could do. You could take, let's say exams 83, 84, 85, and 86 as four individual timed exams on four different days, maybe doing one of them, those a week. You could then take exam 82 and divide it into four parts and then complete each one of those four parts as an experimental in exams 83, 84, 85, and 86, and then later tabulate your results for 82 to see what, they would what it would have been had you done that as a separate timed exam. 